right, guys, we are going to go crossblade. You see, we got the gator style blades here, and we got the wavy blades here. So they're all sharp. Um, it's, it might be a little bit hard to show, but the wavy blades actually have, when they go up here, they go up and they go up, it kind of makes a nice slot for this blade to sit in. Almost like the Honda push mower I got. Uh, so same thing here. So we're gonna cross blade these on a yard that hasn't been cut in the middle of summer for five or six weeks. So it's gonna suck. There's also a nasty storm coming out there. So we're gonna move right along. Um, not gonna be a lot of weed eating or edging video. We're gonna try to jump right into the mowing and uh, see how this see how this works out. All right. Um, yeah, I know. Save your comments about there goes the spent. I don't care. Just shut up about that. This is just experimenting and having fun, and I don't give a crap if I break bearings in a spindle. I'll go buy another one. Um, it's fun. All right. It's just it's fun. 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 We'll just have some fun. Uh, but hey, sometimes you get into a yard that's just pure crap. Cross blades can get you through it. We're about to go do a yard that's pure crap. Um, these yards were sprayed last Sunday. Here it is Saturday, about a week later. These yards were sprayed. Uh, weed, weed killer in the beds and stuff like that. It's three yards together. It's a nice side hustle Saturday. Yesterday I got rained out. Um, so we'll get these three yards done about an hour and a half, two hours. Nice day. All right, let's go cross blade. All right, let me set the stage for you real quick. Um, we're raising the deck back up to three inches all around. I had it at two and a half and three uh, to get it a little bit lower, but the blades are a quarter inch thick. And so when you're cross blading, you lowered your second blade a quarter inch. So I don't want to mow that low. So I don't want to mow that low, baby. So we're going to put you in the shade and we're going to start mowing and see what happens. Shoot up, shoot down. We'll figure it out. Now, when it comes to this John's grass or whatever the hell it's called, Look, the correct thing to do is, is remove it for me to pull it out. But the correct thing to do is for them to have me here every two weeks and not every five to six weeks. So give and take. Hey guys, so we have a lot of um, new people to the channel and new people every day. So let me just do real quick a reminder. If you've been with me for a while, nothing's changed. And for you new people that always ask me, what weed eater line do I use? What edger blades do I use? And where do I get them? Um, I link to them in every video description I have on my channel. Every video description. Links to edger blades in bulk. And you get two packs like this in a box. Um, these will fit your Steel, Echo, Husqvarna, Ryobi. It's got the whatever, one inch or whatever here. And this is like an eight, uh, eight inches right here by two inches. It's your standard edger blade. Usually in the big box stores, you get two of these painted black for like eight or eight, seven or eight bucks. Uh, you get uh, 25 of these, I think, for like 25 or 30 bucks um, through my link. So. Uh, I love these. I've been using these for quite a few years. I have no intention of changing or using anything else. Um, and then my weed eater line, again, I've been using this for quite a few years. No intentions at all of using anything else ever. Uh, this is 80,000.080 Gator Line Pro, they call it, uh, by Oregon. Uh, so this is Dan's vlog approved. They should contact me and pay me for that. Um, I love this line. It doesn't melt in the head. It lasts really good. I can edge with it. I weed eat with it. It's thinner than 9.5 and 105 and all that. 
So at low RPMs, it slices like a razor right through weeds and stuff like that. So when you're doing around delicate areas, low RPMs, it's good. It's not like a bat, it doesn't flick rocks out. Um, I mean, at high RPMs it will, but this will bend before it'll flick rocks out like thicker lines. So it's something to think about. That's the Gator line by Oregon, 0 .080. And I will link to that in every video description that I have. All right, so this is the stuff I like and I highly recommend you guys use it too. All right, back to the mowing.
work with some horrible grass. Thick, wet. Chopped it right down. I mean, you get what you get when you go and cut your grass but once every five or six weeks. I mean, it looks like shit, but it's, it, I mean, it's what it is. All right, so something about cross blading that I really like is it lowers the blade a quarter inch on the spindle, which means it puts the blade e either really even with the bottom of the deck or maybe a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch below the deck. In this situation, my blade is about a sixteenth of an inch below the deck. Um, not much of a concern. You would have to be careful for that uh, if you're, you know, mowing around things that have rocks, sprinkler donuts, like in South Florida, all the sprinklers have those concrete little donuts around them. Stuff like that, your deck's not going to hit. Your deck will go right over it maybe, but your blade might hit it. And then you're sending shrapnel out the side chute and blowing out, you know what I mean? So you need to be very, very careful when you do this, all right? Look, my channel is about giving you tips, tricks, hints, get you motivated and get you out there. My channel's not safety. I'm not OSHA, I'm not the EPA, I'm not anything like that. So, you know, you guys have to have a certain level of responsibility, self-awareness, personal responsibility, and things that you do. Know your knowledge and know your limitations, all right? Don't be sending your 12-year-old kid or 9-year-old kid out on a lawnmower and crossblade it because you saw me do it. If so, you're an idiot. Um, and don't blame me and don't, don't send the comments to me because I, I, you're an idiot. Um, so use your own personal judgment on what you think you should do. We're just trying stuff out. This is not recommended by the manufacturer. Be smart about what you do. Okay? All right. Now with the blade being about a sixteenth of an inch below your deck, when you have these beanstalks, I call them beanstalks, when you have these beanstalks sticking up and the deck holds it down, and then the back of the deck grabs it, and then it pops back up. Now, when your blade is slightly lower than the deck, watch what happens with this area. In many situations, this would be a two to three passes to get all those cut. Sometimes, I'll do one pass, and then get it with the weed eater if it's a small area. Let's just see what happens. That worked out really good and that is something that you can consider doing with uh, something like a spacer or washer get your blade down a little bit so it'll cut those those tall bean stalks all right that's up to you it's your choice not recommended by the manufacturer but you know I bet you don't do 65 in a 65 yards are all nice and mowed they look good, man. They look really good. It's a good height. You know, this yard's going to be rough when you cut it, like I said. Not often enough. Uh, so, but hey, you get what you get. She's happy. She does pay a little bit more for the once a month to once every five or six week service. And it's nice because it's, it's you know, right here with the three of them. So you go out, you make 130, 140, 150 bucks in a few hours of work can't complain about that and then we got her all squared away and so that's it so that's a little example of cross blading with the turf tracer hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you on the next Tell one me about the whistles. The whistles. The whistles. The whistles.